following presentation is for mature audiences only. Who are you? He's a fine man. All hell is broken loose. He's a great broadcaster. He's a very powerful guy. Absolutely brilliant. Feared by men, adored by women. He's a smart boy. It's patriotic. It's no big deal. It's the end of the world. I might as well tell you now. He's a monkey. And how you doing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages? Welcome into the madness that is the wild side with Eric Clark. I am your not-at-all-humble host, Eric Clark, dealing with five kittens, saying thank you for taking time out of your busy day being awesome to give my little video a watch and a listen. If you like it, like it. If you think other people are going to dig it, give it a share. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel and you're following on all the social media platforms. I've got them linked down below. That way, if there's a song, band, video, something you want me to check out, something you want me to rant about, you can hit me up with a DM or leave it in the comments below. If you are going to hit me with a DM, please no spamming unless it's actual spam. Then there's a P.O. box down there. If you are going to leave it in the comments, become a concurpa. All you have to do to become a concurpa is give the comments a cursory glance. If you see your suggestion has already been made or you see another suggestion that really creams your Twinkie, all you have to do is like that original comment and below reply with I concur. That'll help my old burnout resin coated DJ brain get everything into a nice little organized list and I can get it into the handy dandy notebook. Now, if you want to become an official concurpa, I don't know what that means. I was told to say it. If you'd like to become an official concurpa, I have recently fired up a Patreon account so you can become a Patreon of the wild side with Eric Clark. Help the channel grow from improving the technology to improving the content. All of the Patreon donations, contributions go right back into the show. So it's just another way for you to get your suggestion to me. There's no priority. You don't have to. It'd just be really cool if you did. Also, every Wednesday and Saturday, we are live streaming. Wednesdays, 11 a.m., Saturdays, 2 p.m. I'm sorry. to Like I said, I've got five kittens running around here. They're climbing on everything. So you may see a couple of little blurs uh, in the camera. So we're live streaming every Saturday and Wednesdays. Wednesdays, 11 a.m., Saturdays, 2 p.m., another chance for you to get your suggestion to me. Before we get started today, I do want to say thank you to Connect 200 Music to See and Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. Today's video is coming from Patreon, and it's coming from Patreon member Concurpa number one. That's right. Kevin Hollis is the first member of our Patreon. He is Concurpa number one. He's not the number one concurpa. He's just concurpa number one. So Kevin reached out and said, hey, man, would you do me a favor? Check out the video South Side of Heaven by an artist named Ryan Bingham. Now, Ryan Bingham has been in the Americana country scene since probably 2002, and I think this is an early one of his works. He's an artist out of New Mexico. I'm very ignorant when it comes to country music, even though I do live in Nashville. I pick up a little bit here and there, but as far as really being a student of country music, that is not my milieu. My milieu for the past 30 years has been what is called active rock. So I am a fan of country, though. I do like good, twangy country music. So I'm excited to see what Kevin has asked me to check out. And we are checking out Ryan Bingham's South Side of Heaven here on the Wild Side. Here we go. I like it already. I've been 
down a desperado in West Texas for so long, Lord, I need a change. Oh, ten long years, this old place ain't seen a drop of rain. Now the wind blows every day, Lord, all like a desert snow. Like a lost bound train Running on cocaine and out of control But on the south side of heaven Won't you take me home Cause I've been brewing down for so long And know it's getting cold That is Ryan Bingham, South Side of Heaven. I think that is from 2002, 2004, somewhere around there. Uh, I can't remember the name of the album. I did a little little cursory research on him. So very well done. I like that vibe. That is a great vibe. I, I, anytime the mandolin comes in gently, it, it kind, hey, hey, it kind of creates this um, almost like a longing tone to it uh, a tone of hopeful melancholy it's it's i've used that expression before with other songs and other captures of tone that it creates this yearning type of a vibe to it but i i like that and a good country song has a a, a slight tinge of gospel uh, that's what because that's what country music is. Country music is bluegrass. It's gospel. It's soul music. It's a lot of regional tones that create colors and things like that. And a good country song has that. And it did in the middle. I wrote down good shifts. There was a really creative time change there in, in the break and the bridge. Uh, going from one tempo to a slower tempo, then picking back up into that into that third tempo, into that final part of the song, it it had that revival tone to it, right? The the revival tone, and what the revival tone creates in a song is a brightness around what is already being created. So what's already being created are these really cool color tones of bright of forward moving of positive these are positive colors and then the revival tone the revival tempo that that gospel-esque sound to it it almost it almost creates that clap along kind of a kind of a tone uh where you you, you start to think yeah man i need to raise my hands to jesus <laughs> right you know you get that you know all right you know kind of a thing going on pencil tucky happening and that's what makes a good song indelible. 
That's what makes a, regardless of the genre of the song, it's what makes it uh, memorable and it stays with you. And I like that that tone that Ryan creates here. And his vocals, I wrote down uh, Country Tom Waits. He's got that really good um, smoky uh, roadside, roadhouse kind of sound to him, but very clear. And don't get me wrong. There's a graveliness to it, and there's a a definite um, dampening, not wet, but a, a dampening of um, what's the word I'm looking for? There's definitely a, a you're thinking that there's a a slow speech, and that and what's cool about his vocals are that they sound one way but he uses the vocals in another. And what I mean is when you hear him say South Side of Heaven and he rolls from one into another, sometimes that rolling will create a blur. He doesn't do that. He's very clean in that almost muted mumble. He's still very clean, so he allows his twang. He, he doesn't... He doesn't hinder himself when he's when he's singing in his normal voice that's how you know the vocals are pure because he's he's singing as though he would speak to you and he does it thick and and wide through the texture of the vocals so very well done <clears throat> country music went through this period where this song right here should have been i don't know what the chart movement was for this track i don't know like i said i'm very ignorant to ryan bingham all of his work so i rely on you my sherpas to guide me through this new musical journey let me know down below everything i need to know about ryan bingham i don't know you know maybe <clears throat> it was a promotional thing i don't know but that is the sound when i when i first heard the the track come in you hear the mandolin, you hear the the har the harmonica, and then the vocals come in. It, 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 here's something: if you drive around e East Nashville, there's a very co if you drive around Nashville, there's a very common bumper sticker here. Um, very common. You see it on a lot of vehicles here in Nashville with Davidson County and surrounding county tags. It says pluck pluck twang twang and that's a very <clears throat> i don't know if you have to live here to really get that but for the longest time there was a craving for a throwback country sound to the days of outlaw country chris christopherson um i even wrote down uh this is how you know it's a good country song <laughs> this is how you know because he talked about trains he talked about mama talked about trucks and he talked about prison it's the perfect country song right that's the sound that people have been craving from their country music and the the issue that country music suffered from was a blend into pop once they started to blend into pop then came this thing called the i don't know if anyone even understands what i say when i say this but it's the snap clap fat fad right that it, it was prevalent there was like a three four year run in country music where i would you know oh, damn that damn snap clap again and then when you listen to it you're like oh yeah i can i can see that so ryan bingham's this track south side of heaven and i'm sure subsequent tracks are definitely what people who are surrounded in the country music industry have been looking for and i don't want to get into the political reasons why but it's a shame if this track didn't get the chart movement it should. Um, I don't like I said, I don't I don't know. So everybody needs to let me know down below what's what's up with that. But that should have been a massive track in country music. Simply because A, it's a great song. Not just for the reasons I mentioned, you know, prison trucks and mama and the harmonies that went along with it in a very unique tone um, and color pattern that's being created. Not only that, but because of, and I know they've listed him as Americana, and I don't like that. That's country music. That's actually Western. It's more Western than country, but it's still 
pluck, pluck, twang, twang. That is what people have been craving in their country music. That bluegrass gospel could break out into a tent revival at any moment sound of country music. Lyrics that, that speak to you, the regular person, they're not, he's not bloviating. There's no braggadocia here. He's speaking about a simple life that anybody can relate to. And what makes a songwriter good is being able to take the individuality that they're writing the song from, the impetus of the song, is individual. Yet, when translated and put through their spectrum of creativity, it, it dominates the universality. It then creates that universal connection that you, the individual, can make with something that has nothing to do with you. So again, this is a really great track, and I, I, I look forward, again, let me know what my next track from Ryan Bingham should be, because I like that. That is, a, that is the country music I grew up listening to, the B.W. Stevensons, the Alabamas, the, the really good traditional country sound. Um, I like it. So thank you very much, Kevin Hollis, Concurpa number one, for giving me that suggestion. Ryan Bingham, South Side of Heaven. Let me know down below with all the information I need to know about Mr. Bingham and his career thus far. I really appreciate it. So again, if you have a suggestion for me, a band, artist, video, something you want me to check out, hit me up with a DM. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. You can leave it in the comments or join Patreon and get your Patreon request that way as well so make sure you hit me up uh with a dm or whatever also live streaming every wednesdays and saturdays sorry about that I had a phone call uh from the boss man so um again make sure you're subscribed make sure you're liking it make sure you're sharing it if you think other people need to check it out thank you very much to connect 200 music to see and aunt betty's nut butter thank you to all of you for taking time out of your busy day to give my little video a watch and a listen. Make sure you're looking out for each other. Make sure you're looking out for your neighbor. Try to do at least one good thing a day. I am Eric Clark, and this has been The Wild Side.